Gainax Company, Limited is a Japanese anime studio famous for productions such as Gunbuster, The Wings of Oni Amis, Nadia, The Secret of Blue Water, Neon Genesis Evangelion, Magical Shopping Arcade Abinobashi, FLCL, Gurren Ligon and Pantheon Stocking with Garter Belt, which have gone on to critical acclaim and commercial success, as well as for their association with award-winning anime director and studio co-founder Hidaki Anno. The company is headquartered in Kogane, Tokyo. Until Neon Genesis Evangelion, Gainax typically worked on stories created in-house, but the studio has increasingly developed anime adaptations of existing manga like Karashika Nojo no Jijo and Mahoromatic. The Animage Anime Grand Prix has been awarded to Gainax for Nadia, The Secret of Blue Water in 1991, Neon Genesis Evangelion in 1995 and 1996, and the end of Evangelion in 1997. History, Beginnings The studio was formed in the early 1980s as Daikon Film by university students Hidaki Anno, Yoshiyuki Sadamoto, Hiroyuki Yamaga, Takami Akai, Toshio Okada, Yasuhiro Takeda and Shinji Higuchi. Their first project was an animated short for the 20th annual Japan National SF Convention, also known as Daikon 3 held in 1981 in Osaka, Japan. The short film is about a girl who fights monsters, robots, and spaceships from early science fiction TV shows and films until she finally reaches a desert plain and pours a glass of water on a dried-out daikon radish, which immediately resurrects itself, grows into a huge spaceship, and beams her aboard. Though the short had an ambitious scope, the animation was rough and low quality. The group made a much bigger splash with a short they produced for the 22nd annual Japan National SF Convention, Daikon 4, in 1983. Starting with a better animated recap of their original 1981 short, the short then moves to the girl as a grown woman, wearing a bunny suit and fighting an even wider range of science fiction creatures while surfing through the sky on the sword Stormbringer. The action was all set to the electric light orchestra song Twilight though the group's failure to properly license the song would prevent the short's official release on DVD. The Daikon 4 short firmly established Daikon Film as a talented new anime studio. The studio changed its name to Gainax in 1985, basing the term Gainax on an obscure Tottery prefecture term for giant, with the English suffix X added because it sounded good and was international. Gainax's first work as a commercial entity was Royal Space Force, the Wings of Oni Amis, released in 1987. Oni Amis was critically acclaimed and a classic anime movie. However, it had a tepid commercial reaction. The next release, the 1988 OVA Gunbuster, was a commercial success and put Gainax on a stable of footing to produce works like Nadia and Otaku no Video. During this period, Gainax also produced a number of items such as Garage Kit and adult video games. Evangelion. In 1995, Gainax produced perhaps their best-known series, the commercially successful and critically acclaimed Neon Genesis Evangelion. In the wake of Evangelion's success, however, Gainax was audited by the National Tax Agency at the urging of the Tokyo Regional Taxation Bureau on suspicion of committing tax evasion on the massive profits accruing from various Evangelion properties. It was later revealed that Gainax had concealed 1.56 billion yen worth of income which it had earned between the release of Evangelion in July 1997 by paying closely related companies various large fees, ostensibly to pay for animation expenses, but then immediately withdraw 90% of the sums from the other companies' accounts as cash and store it in safe deposit boxes. Gainax president Takeshi Sawamura and tax accountant Yoshikatsu Isaki were arrested on July 13, 1999 and later jailed for accounting fraud. Yasuhiro Takeda later defended Sawamura's actions as being a reaction to Gainax's perpetually precarious finances and the shaky accounting procedures internally. Sawamura understood our financial situation better than anyone, so when Evangelion took off and the money really started rolling in, he saw it as possibly our one and only opportunity to set something aside for the future. I guess he was vulnerable to temptation at that point, because no one knew how long the Evangelion goose would keep laying golden eggs. 
I don't think he purposely set out with the goal of evading taxes. It was more that our level of accounting knowledge wasn't up to the task of dealing with revenues on such a large scale. 2000s, in 2004, Gainax marked their 20th anniversary with the production of D-Buster, the sequel to Gunbuster. Gainax's most recent successes on television have been the popular anime series Tengen Topper Gurren Lugon and Panty and Stocking with Garter Belt. In August 2011, Gainax was sued by AD Vision, who claimed Gainax's refusal to accept an option payment for the perpetual live-action rights to Evangelion was a breach of contract and had resulted in losing an opportunity to produce the film with a major studio. A Division has asked to be awarded the live-action rights to Evangelion and any accruing legal fees. In 2012, Gainax announced it would be producing its first live-action television series, EA's Rock, with director Nobuhiro Yamashita. At the 2013 Tokyo Anime Fair, Gainax announced that they would be making Once Dead Blue Yura film with Hiroyo Yuki Yamaga as the director and screenwriter and Yoshiyuki Sadamoto as the character designer. Filmography, TV series, films, OVAs and ONAs, Daikan Tokusatsu fan films, as Daikan films, Gainax made a series of notable Tokusatsu fan film shorts in the 1980s, usually parodies of monster movies and superhero shows, which received favorable media coverage. Other works, Gainax has also teamed with other groups to create various works such as a 1987 promotional video for the song Marionette by Boa W.Y. and the 2006 Momoko-based Gainax Girls Fashion Dolls created in collaboration with a Japanese fashion doll. Gainax also collaborated with Game Arts in 1992, resulting in the video game Alzia Dragoon. Gainax has also produced a number of computer games, including a strip mahjong game featuring Evangelion characters and its most famous, the Princess Maker series. Relationship to fan community, since Gainax originated as a group of fans, it has maintained ties to the general otaku community, allowing Da Jinchi of its work, fan-made action figures, promoting series like Evangelion at private festivals, and so on. See also Neon Genesis Evangelion franchise, Trigger, studio created by ex-Gainax staff. References Takeda, Yasuhiro. Yusujitani, Yasuhiro Kamamura, Takoshi Miwa. Translated by Javier Lopez, Jack Widrick, Brendan Frayne, K. Bertrand, Gina Corner, Hiroaki Fukuda, and Sheridan Jacobs. The Notenki Memoirs, Studio Gainax and the Men Who Created Evangelion. Houston, ADV Manga. ISBN A1-4139. 0234-0A, further reading, Hernandez, Lee. The Curse of Yurusu Yatsura, Interview by Pulp Magazine, Volume 5, Number 8, 24 Euro 29. ISSN 1096-0228. Howell, Sean. The Fabulous Dog and Pony Show, An Interview with Sean Howell. By Ben Dunn. Magazine, Volume 2, Number 23. 11 a Euro 18. Sean Howell was the second vice president of Gainax in charge of United States operations after Lee Hernandez quit. Howell, Sean. The Fabulous Dog and Pony Show. Magazine, Volume 2, Nose. 24, 25, 27, 30, 31, 32. A column further detailing Sean Howell's experiences with Gainax. Leonard. Andrew. Heads up, Mickey. Wired, issue 3.04, April 1995. An article on anime, focusing on the history of Gainax. External links, Japanese, Gainax and ET a Euro Gainax's official website, Gainax's official Daikon Films website a Euro info on their classic tokusatsu and anime shorts. Gainax at Anime News Network's Encyclopedia.